honestly, that decision really shift and changed my mindset a lot. Because, like I said, all the hard work I was putting in in January and February, March was like, girl, here you go. Let me bless you real quick. You too playing with me, okay? <laughs> you are a product of your environment. I'm your sign. Move. Like, just move. Okay. Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie, your fashion BFF. And I'm here for an update. I have not had a sit down with any of you guys in a very long time. So I thought this would be very much appropriate since a lot have happened in the past couple months and I just want to sit down and just give you the tea like what's going on honestly I feel like YouTube is my journal so it's kind of nice to look back on you know my past experiences for the past two years and just remembering those feelings that I had during those moments for me to give you a life update I kind of have to take you back almost a year and some change ago so for the folks who just met me or came across my page I moved to a luxury apartment a year ago over a year ago and for some that's like okay girl it's not a big deal but for me it was very much a big deal because the old apartment that I was living in I'm I'm currently spending almost three times the rent here right so for me that was not only a big financial change it was also uh, a whole new area for me and I was also I'm also living alone the reason I'm bringing up the move is simply because it really changed my mindset and it really kind of pushed me and encouraged me to elevate my life so I am if you're seeing this and you're thinking about moving to that new city that new country and even if it's down the street, baby, I'm your sign. Move. Like, just move. Okay? Just <laughs> move and elevate yourself. If you're scared, take that leap of faith and go. And I'm really about to cry because I moved in March of 2023 and a couple days before I moved of course I made a vlog of my move my process that's on my channel if you want to see that but I also made a another video that was never posted it was um, a video of me you know in my bedroom it was supposed to be posted it was like a mukbang and I was just like, you know, telling my situation, what was going on and like how I felt at that time. Me watching that video and feeling, remembering all those feelings that I had because I was more than mortified because one, I absolutely despised change and two, there was a lot of missing variables <laughs> to the equation of me moving to a luxury apartment. Okay, so that's here and over there. But I really valued my safety and I felt like even though there was a lot of missing variables in the equation, the sum was I was going to hopefully and live the life that I wanted live the lifestyle that I wanted you know um, and that really pushed me and elevated me to do better essentially like their mindset would change to your environment when you're so used to doing the same thing and making being around the same people seeing the same thing over and over again your mind gets really complacent and every time i elevated in life it was because i made a change i made a move and 
it brought me here. Like, honestly, when I was child, my first apartment when I was 18, I moved up when I was 18. My first apartment was in the hood, in a duplex, ghetto. When I mean ghetto, buki, ghetto. And, <laughs> and I would never think in a million years, like, I wouldn't say not in a million years, I'm not trying it. But I never thought that this would have been my lifestyle. Like, literally, kind of living a bougie, I don't want to say wrench auntie, but definitely living a bougie life, okay? <laughs> that was pretty much the past. And like I said, between the time of my move and to the time of December, everything was honestly at a standstill all the way around. I was just really much focusing on one, furnishing my apartment, building back my savings and my income to maintain the lifestyle that I wanted, right? <clears throat> Bring me back to present year, which is 2024. January, I end up having a vision board party. And <laughs> so, you know, on my vision board, I was very much, I won't say specific, but a lot of things that I really wanted to work on was one, my mental health, to my social and communication three definitely financial for youtube and five self-care so those are things that i had on my vision board that i was really trying to work on and uh you know push towards okay that's just the broad net of it so once i completed those my vision board I started to put things into motion. Not only did I have the vision, I kind of took the time out to have a plan, okay? Because I need a plan. I need a schedule and I need a routine. If not, I will procrastinate till the end of time. I'm very much tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Because tomorrow, tomorrow is when it's gonna happen. Tomorrow, oh tomorrow, my God. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Very much that. Very much that. Okay. So I made a plan to one, write out what would my day look like, right? If I have these tasks of make sure I work out, make sure I, you know, meal prep, you know, reach out to family and friends, uh, make sure I pray and do self care, incorporate those things in my day. So what I did was, <clears throat> I literally had a alarm clock for every minute of the day. And that's how I started off the year. And I know that seems like a bit much for, for some, but it takes about 30 days to break your habit, right? And for me, I needed those visual and um, auditorial cues to ensure that I was following through on those goals honestly I received instant gratification at the end of the day when I have completed majority of the task okay because I'm very much a one task a day <laughs> type of girl so when I'm not even gonna lie to you it was very much draining okay very much so because I'm telling you by day three I was exhausted like literally my whole day I was doing something which is like I'm typically not used to Especially with this the job that I currently work at child being a nanny is Awesome, but anyway <laughs> that's you know, there. Uh, Yeah, so having those was very much helpful January was just a time for me to put my toes in the water and try to Set a routine and also be disciplined enough to complete tasks throughout the day. That was my gist of January February came around and that's when I really got kicking things into gear and I became a little bit more consistent. So I decided to throw in the, uh, my health journey. For most of you who don't know, I really struggle with my weight. My weight always fluctuated ever since I was younger and it is what it is, right? So 
I went to, I did my yearly checkup, which was in February, and I weighed the largest I have ever weighed, which was 250, and no, I'm not ashamed, okay? It's fine, all right? My back is big. It is what it is. Your father ain't got no problem with it. So, yeah. I That was the largest I've ever been, which is 250, and of course, like, when I went into the doctor's appointment, I knew I, I'm definitely, I was larger than I ever been. But to actually see the numbers was like, girl. I really went into the keto and calorie deficit lifestyle. And I believe I was working out at least three times a week for 30 minutes. It wasn't anything straining. It wasn't anything like drastic. I was literally just walking for 30 minutes on the treadmill. Some days I would walk outside. But for the most, it was seven, right? So it was cold. So nine times out of ten, I was literally on the treadmill. Uh, and I did uh, a workout video here here and there. But for the most part, I was literally just walking on the treadmill for 30 minutes. And, you know, I would just challenge myself each time I was on the treadmill, whether that was ensuring I used incline or just speeding up, you know, the conveyor belt to walk faster. So... I was doing that. I was doing um, intermittent fasting as well. Like literally, I had a child, I had everything. Okay, I was doing it all. <laughs> I did lose 10 pounds within a month, which is honestly great. Because, like I said, I really wasn't working out. <laughs> I, I worked out like three days out of the week. Like I said, and intermittent fasting wasn't that bad because... I just had to wait till lunchtime, and I uh, and I can't even say that. And even like with the intermittent fasting thing, nine times out of ten I had coffee that morning. And for I don't know about you guys, but for me, like coffee is kind of filling. So me drinking coffee in the morning, and then and of course that makes you gotta go. So yeah, just drinking coffee and then waiting till lunchtime is really not that drastic. And then you know my meals were like pretty much low carbohydrates i won't even say like die hard keto it was just low carbohydrates food and i lost 10 pounds so that was really great for me like march was just all around the best month so far just because like i said all the hard work i was putting in in january and february march was like girl here you go let me bless you real quick and yeah, I really I had a great time in March. And oh y'all, oh my god, how I forget to mention this. Jesus Christ! <sighs> the car accident happened. I think March fourth. That was the date, I believe. And I remember feeling like so down, so anxious. And you know, for anybody who has gotten a car accident, it's not like a good feeling. And I said, you know what? I, and I was so enraged. Not only that I was in a car accident, it was like this man literally had a full face lie and lied to the police. Like, so you intentionally tried to hit me. Like, come on, bro. And at that moment, I felt like so bad. And, you know, that like something like that would really like mess somebody hit up. But I remember telling myself, do not let that person you know, pretty much tear you down or stop you from doing the things that you need to do. Like, I got my ass into the gym. I, I went to work, got in the gym, completed all my tasks that I was supposed to do. Pray to God for not only his, you know, for forgiveness for me and for him. I just, I just, I just knew, like, don't let that tear you down keep going and honestly I kept going I kept being consistent I kept you know you know budgeting I kept being consistent and being disciplined with everything and all my aspect in life and honestly it paid off by the end of the month because I when I tell you I was blessed left and right and right and left in March baby I was blessed and so that's just you know kind of like to sit down and think about it like yeah i was really blessed and then to watch that video of you know me 
literally having a meltdown about <laughs> me moving and not knowing what's going to happen next. And I am just like, child, you don't even know all the blessings that you have received, you know, because of the move. But that's here and there, y'all. So that was March. Very much blessed and highly favored month of the year so far. April, um, April was rough. I wouldn't say it was rough. It wasn't my best. I think I was so much on the high horse that I just start to lag a lot. Like, just cutting down with the workout, being reckless with my money. I won't say reckless, but not as savvy with my money. And, <laughs> you know, I was just lacking and just, oh, you know, I can miss a day here. Oh, I can do that tomorrow. Like, it just kind of started to trickle down to me not being consistent and then of course my birthday was in may so that wasn't happening so at the end of april i end up taking my very first solo trip not only it was a solo trip it was my very first adult trip and it was out of the country so it was a lot of first first solo first time out the country as an adult it was a great experience to add to my memories so yeah mexico was good i had a good time the resort was beautiful the food was trash the excursions what really made the whole thing i'm not even about to keep rambling about mexico if y'all want to see how mexico went it will be in a playlist down below i'm pretty sure it, it gave you the whole tea. Another thing that happened in April was I reached a threshold to receive my first payment from YouTube. Now, YouTube playing with me, okay? <laughs> so, I have been monetized. This channel has been monetized since December of 2022. It took me over a year to get my first check from YouTube. If you want a detailed video about pretty much my whole YouTube experience, comment down below YouTube. Okay, and I give the tea and the spill and all that. But I received, nonetheless, very much blessed. I received my first check from YouTube. Well, I didn't receive the check. I um, they notified me that I was going to get one. Right. So that brings me into May. My birthday had a great time. Uh, what else happened in May? Child, May was a blur. Okay, May came and went <laughs> without <laughs> without the two weeks notice. Okay, May came and left, and so you know I had a great time for my birthday. And then what else? I went, you know, besides going to Mexico. I end up going to Atlanta in South Carolina with my employers. <sighs> that was fun. I had a good time. And then I finally received my check in May. Okay, boom. So where am I now? So pretty much, I am back on my Zoom, okay? I'm telling y'all, I am back on my Zoom. I have been getting up early. I have been working out. I've been sitting on my keto. I've been praying. I've been trying to get myself together okay and just you know of course and i'm back on my zone. i know y'all see all my stuff that i'm posting now on youtube so i'm back on my zoom i feel like the main question that people probably have on their mind is how is it living alone great for an introvert great uh you know I work about 80% of the time, so when I get home, I don't want to be bothered, okay? Like, I, I don't, I want my brain to shut off. I feel like if I was a full-time creator and I was working from home, the whole lonely situation would have hit me a little bit harder, but since I'm hardly ever home, I'm always around people not saying the people I want to be around but 
<laughs> I'm always around people and I'm hardly ever alone unless I'm in my apartment. If you're if you understand what I'm saying. Uh so yeah, when I get home, usually it's like I shower, go to sleep, cook, do laundry, like I'm always doing something. It's hardly that I'm literally sitting in my apartment and just like twiddling my thumbs, you know? I'm always doing something. <sighs> Unfortunately. <laughs> what I see for myself for the rest of the year is one, just being disciplined all around with, you know, with my work and you know, with communication with family and friends, self-care, and all those things that I list from the beginning of the uh, video. I just want to be disciplined and make sure I do what I need to do to obtain my goals. So let's come down to YouTube. Well, uh, what is my future with YouTube? Honestly, I love creating content and I feel like YouTube is kind of change my outlook on things in life and honestly push me to elevate myself as well so YouTube it's kind of like a hobby for me in a sense and it was, it's a really nice outlet to express myself and like I said I do like doing YouTube to like journal my life in a sense so I really like YouTube I'm going to continue to make content for my friends and I see myself having 10,000 subscribers I'm going to speak it into existence by the end of 2024 I'm going to have 10,000 friends and I said I not only just like you know just the number wise but I kind of want to build a community so if you haven't already definitely subscribe and there is a link in my bio in the channel where you can link to my Instagram, support my channel by buying me a coffee and just all kinds of stuff. So yeah, if you haven't done that already and you wanna connect with me a little bit more, there's that. Happy two year anniversary to us. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and also watching all my videos. Your time is your most valuable currency and you spend it with me. So I'm very much grateful. I cannot wait to see all the great things that I'm going to accomplish and do in the next year. <laughs> so I'm really excited to, you know, sit back and watch this video and be like, girl, we have elevated all the goals that we have set, accomplished. We have done more than what our mind has expected us to do. So until next time, maybe a year from now, bye.